What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be working more on Prospector Bob. Uh, I'm gonna start out first by telling you guys something. Last video, or maybe two videos ago, we put new door seals on the OG Crew Cab. They worked excellent. I had the same brand new door seals to put on this truck. I put them on, the rear doors were perfect, but the front doors would not shut. Um, so I asked around, asked some people on Facebook, and what I came to find out is because they're so kind of bulky, because they're brand new, I actually had to make an adjustment to the striker pin, but I also had to adjust the hinges where they attach to the door just a little bit so the door sits out just slightly further away from the cab. Uh, and they wouldn't shut at all, but now they shut perfectly. So if you order those door seals and you're having a problem with the door shutting, make sure you adjust the striker pin and the door hinge just a little bit. Um, I think as this door seal wears in a little bit, I'll be able to kind of pull back on some of those adjustments, but for now it made it work. So I'm still very satisfied with the product. Now, in today's video, we got to get tuning this P-Pump in here. I've had a lot of experience tuning VE pumps on these trucks, but not much on P-Pumps. And uh, I've been doing a lot of watching YouTube videos, reading, uh, and they seem actually very simple, uh, very much like a VE pump. Uh, as far as the AFC goes, I guess we can say. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, try and tune it a little bit. I'm gonna put a video here on the screen of me doing a, uh, just a normal, really accelerating fairly hard, but you'll see how much smoke I'm getting in third and fourth gear. Uh, I wanna tune a lot of that smoke out uh, because really it's a misnomer in the diesel community that smoke is power. Smoke does not equal power, smoke is unburnt fuel. If you have too much fuel going in and the turbo is not catching up or spooling up quick enough to provide air to match that fuel, then you're just wasting fuel. So uh, you don't want a ton of smoke on these trucks unless you can afford to waste fuel, which with today's gas prices, uh, no one can afford that. So uh, what we're going to do is pull the AFC off, see how it's set up. From talking with the previous owner, I know the only thing he did to this P-Pump was put a zero fuel plate in it. So I'm gonna order Governor Springs for sure, but we're just gonna check how, how is this tuned. And I want your guys' input and help on this because like I said, I'm not very familiar with these P-Pump AFCs. So as we go, let me know what you think. So let's get tearing into this AFC on the P-Pump. All right guys, we got the uh, AFC off right here. So you can see, this is the only modification that I know of that the previous owner did to the truck. It's a number 10 fuel plate slid all the way forward. So uh, that's, from what I can tell, the AFC looks untouched. It still has the tamper-proof bolts in place. So let's head into the garage. I'll show you some of the basics of the AFC. I'm not an expert on the P-Pump AFC, but we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go about tuning the components on the AFC. So let's go check that out. All right guys, this is the AFC or the air fuel control. So there's uh, quite a few things you can do to modify this. Um, but today we're gonna deal with the basics. We're gonna deal with the smoke screw or the pre-boost screw and the star wheel, okay? So both of these adjustments can actually be made with the AFC still on the truck, but I pulled it off just so I could show you guys um, kind of how it's going to work and what it's going to affect. So with the AFC on the truck, uh, this faces toward the firewall. You have a 10 millimeter lock nut, just like that. And then it's on a screw that is tapped for an Allen key. Okay, so just like that. Now, the further you put this screw in, the more fuel you'll get pre-boost. So taking off from a dead stop, if you're dumping smoke, that means this screw may be in too far. Now, the other adjustment we're gonna play with is under this cap, and it is the star wheel. So that's, a, I believe, an eight millimeter Allen key. So you just unscrew this cap. Be careful, there's a metal washer. Don't wanna lose that. And inside of there, there is a wheel that's got basically ridges on it. And what you can do with a screwdriver is put the screwdriver in there and turn it and you'll hear it click just like that okay 
So if you rotate it, if I'm referencing this as if I'm coming from the backside and I rotate it counterclockwise, it's gonna actually pull that star wheel this way, which puts more preload on the AFC spring. If I push it that way, it's gonna have less preload on the AFC spring. So this controls your fueling from about five to 30 pounds of boost. Okay, so this is when you're in boost, this is how it's gonna fuel. So here's what we're gonna do to um, start off by kind of tuning this. We're gonna back the smoke screw way out. Okay, I could pull it all the way out right there. So I'm gonna just put it about right there. Okay, so we're gonna thread the nut, lock nut on, but that pre-boost screw is backed way, way out. So it's probably not doing anything. Now the idea here is we are going to start tuning this at pretty much no fuel, I guess you could say, okay? So there's no pre-boost fuel now. Now we're gonna back the star wheel back that way. And it's not just a number of turns. This is something you kind of have to do trial and error. Okay, so let's see if you can see that in there. So that's backed about, if we're looking at this circle, it's about two thirds of the way toward the back. Okay, we could probably go a little bit more, but we're gonna start right there. Okay, now the last thing, this AFC housing, you'll notice the mounting holes are slotted, okay? So if you want more fuel, you slide this toward the front of the engine. If you want less fuel, you slide it toward the back of the engine. So uh, we're gonna start with this, probably not all the way back, we're gonna start with it probably about uh, midway, not all the way forward either. And uh, let's throw it on the truck like this. We'll close this cap back up. We got the lock nut done on the smoke screw. So let's go throw this back on the truck. We'll take it for a drive, see how it goes. I'm expecting it to be very under fueled at this point with these settings. Uh, the nice thing is I'm gonna take these four tools with me. We can just pop the hood in and make these adjustments on the side of the road as we tune it. Um, the idea is we know we're under fueled pre-boost and in boost. So we're going to adjust our pre-boost first. We're going to turn this in a couple, a turn or two at a time until we get some smoke pre-boost. And then we're going to back it out just about a half turn. And so we get just a light haze pre-boost. Once that's adjusted, we'll adjust the star wheel to where we get just a little smoke during the boost and then we'll back it out just barely to where it's the amount of smoke we want, just a light haze. And that will be the perfect adjustment for this AFC. All right guys, got the AFC back in and uh, it's defueled too much as I suspected to the point where it barely starts and barely idles. So when that happens, we know it is the pre-boost screw, the, the smoke screw essentially, because that controls fuel before the boost. Uh, including idle. So we gotta move that pre-boost screw in a little ways until we get it to idle. So I'll get it starting idling well and then we'll take it on a drive. All right guys, still haven't left the driveway yet. Um, I got the smoke screw turned in. I've got about four threads showing uh, outside of the lock nut. So just for a point of reference if you're doing this. But, so I got it, it, it starts fine, it idles fine now. Uh, but I was about to get in the truck and pull out of the driveway and I was like, I'm going to push on the gas just to see. I push on the gas and it just has nothing. So uh, I'm not even going to drive it yet. I know we need to go in further with the star wheel. In is in closer to the front of the engine. So we're going to get it uh, moved forward a little bit to where we at least get some good throttle response and then we'll start doing the tuning while we drive. All right, here we go. Throttle response is still not where I want it to be, but 
We're gonna play this out and see how it does. So I told you guys, I'm not an expert at tuning these P-pumps and honestly, the best way to learn is just dive in and do it. Um, I've done a lot of research, so I know, you know, things that I should obviously avoid and kind of the direction I need to go with it, but oh boy, there's a wasp in here. There we go. He's gone. So you just kind of have to do it, you know? Oh boy, yeah, this is horrible. Okay, I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna put the smoke screw in a little bit as well because we're not getting any smoke uh, pre-boost. And uh, like I said, we don't want that, but we want a little bit so we know where we're at with the smoke screw. So I'm gonna put that in a little bit and then go from there. All right, so I got the smoke screw turned in so there's only two threads showing and it is just about perfect. And uh, that's what actually made it so I have some throttle response now, but... But the smoke pre-boost is very manageable. So now we're going to pull over again, we're going to adjust the star wheel because I feel like we need more throttle when we get into boost. It's barely hitting 12 pounds of boost which tells me probably there's not enough fuel to light the turbo. All right, here we go. I'll take you guys with me for this one. Let's see, we need this. Ah, okay. So we're gonna adjust the star wheel toward the front of the truck. Okay, that's about one turn, so I think it's gonna need more than that, but I wanna see what that does to it. Oh yeah, we've got the smoke screw just right. So like I said, we're gonna do smoke screw first and then star wheel. All right, we are clear. Okay, we need to keep going with the star wheel. Um, so when we're under 10 pounds of boost, it's like the, uh, we've got too much tension on the AFC spring, if you know anything about how these pumps work. Uh, so we need to move that a little bit more. It's better than it was, but still not quite there. This is kind of fun though. All right, so we went, uh, toward the front of the truck a turn and a half with the star wheel. Well, let's give it a rip.
All right, we need to go further. It's getting better continually, but we're having to go quite a ways forward. All right, here we go again. So the star wheel is currently, if you're looking in the little hole where you turn it, it's up all the way to the front of that hole. So we've moved it from two thirds to the back and we're pretty much to the front now. So let's uh, see how she does. Once I get it tuned, I'll throw the camera back on the truck and let you guys see. Hopefully there's a difference, but uh, we'll see. All right, so. I think we're back to about where we started at. Uh, we're getting a little haze when we get into boost. So I think we need to back the star wheel off just a hair. Um, I think the issue with uh, how this truck is set up right now, I think the biggest issue we're running into is Governor Springs. All right, guys, uh, my camera died on that last run, but we got it dialed in. Uh, it's pretty close to where it was, but there's just a little less smoke uh, when you go through the boost, which is what I wanted. Um, but it, here you can see how I completely detuned it. So we started with the smoke screw, got that set, then did the star wheel, got that set, and it's pretty good. So let me throw the camera on the side of the truck and I'll show you guys, you can tell me what you think. All right guys, there you have it. So doing a little AFC tuning on the P-Pump, learning a lot. Uh, this is my first time ever touching an AFC on a P-Pump. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. We got the governor springs coming in and then we got the adjustable boost elbow coming in as well. So next tuning video on Prospector Bob, we're gonna be messing around with those. I'll show you how to install those governor springs and uh, we'll see how that goes. So thanks for tuning in. This is kind of a different type of uh, AFC tuning video. A lot of them, they just pull the pump out and throw it on the bench and show you everything. So I figured I'd do it more of a live action. This is how you tune it, uh, driving it down the road, stop, re reset some stuff, drive it more. So a lot of fuel wasted, but it's all for a good cause. So like this video if you haven't yet, and we'll see you guys in the next video.